Hey there, welcome back to another LEGO set analysis. This is another Disney set. This is a big, big, yeah, it's big. <laughs> um, this is technically a remake. Um, this is the Disney Castle. I think that's just the name of it. It's so generic. Why not make name it like Cinderella's Castle or something a little more unique? Anyway, this is the newest Disney Castle. So if you don't know, they did make another Disney Castle. That was in 2016, I want to say. And I didn't get that. I'm not getting this spoiler alert. It's just too much. It's out of my price range. But it is a beautiful set for sure. It's just gorgeous. Um, I believe this is supposed to be the Cinderella Castle from Disney World. Um, I've never been to Disney World, so I'm not exactly sure. But I know it is one of the big castles. Anyway. This is coming out July 1st, 2023. We are on bricktastic.net. That is the source of this um, video. And this is going to be uh, priced at $400. I'm not sure exactly how many pieces. I think it's like around 4,000 ish. Um, oh, 4,837. There you go. And this is set number 43222. Eight minifigures. And this is. Um, Recommended for 18, ages 18 and up. Can't talk. Anyway, here's some pictures of it. And uh, it's this is the leak. Well, it is revealed, I guess. Um, so let's talk about it. It is obviously very incredible. Um, I think it's a little bit bigger than the original. I think it's taller. That's Because the original set was made mostly from, like, large pieces. Like, one-piece things. Which is fair. And, um, yeah, it's cool. I really like this one. I think in some ways this one's better. It looks a little more, like, pretty, I guess you could say. Like, it just looks, like, better because it's most of it is all individual pieces, you know. Here's the back of it with some fireworks. That's pretty cool. Some people are upset that this is just the same castle as the original. It's technically not. It is a different design, but it is obviously very inspired by the original. Um, so here it is. It's very massive. Um, I love the original Disney Castle. It's one of the best like sets that they made. Like just in terms of big, large scale sets, I think it's so awesome. Um, yeah, it's cool. It looks like a medieval castle. Which is great. It's always a win in my book. Um, let's take a look at the figures, though. That's the best part, of course. Uh, let's see. We have eight figures. One of them is a retread. One of them's like a a carryover, which is Tiana. She's a carryover from the figure series. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to get her soon, along with some other ones. Oh, but the two I want so bad are in this set. It's $400. I'm not spending $400 just for two figures. It's very frustrating when Lego does this because they're trying to target adults who have this kind of money, which is fair. But then you have people like me who don't really have that kind of money and really want these figures. So I'm kind of forced to wait until they come out in a cheaper set. But anyway, let's talk about them. I'm trying to Actually, I think I have a picture. Hold on. Wow. Give me one second. This does not want to stay. Okay. One second here. I have a picture of it already. So here is the two first two figures. We have Snow White for the first time, which is great. I've actually never seen Snow White yet. Uh, I definitely plan to. I just, I just haven't seen it. I'm a big Disney fan, okay? I just haven't seen it for whatever reason. She looks fantastic. Brand new hair, brand new faces, brand, brand new everything. So that's great. Very, the first Disney princess we're finally getting. So that is a win. A W. That's great. And this is probably the most generic figure. Prince Florian. I don't even know who this is, to be honest. Like, I'm guessing he's the prince in that movie. He's so plain. Like, compared to everyone else, he's just so simple. I'm get, But I guess that's the design. That's probably the design in the movie. But still... Jeez, he's simple. And I think he's reusing Ant-Man's face. 
Peter Parker's face? Okay. Uh, I think he's the only one with no new face. Faces. So that's kind of lame. Great figure. Good. Yeah, it's fine. He's probably the most generic one. But let's move on to Cinderella, who is fantastic. Everything brand new. That's great. Why is it taking us so long to get these? Why can't we have gotten these princesses, like, years ago? Why does it take us so long? Anyway, Cinderella, fantastic. Uh, Prince Charming is simple, but he looks amazing because he has new pieces. That's good. Although the hair is Fred's. That's from Scooby-Doo, that's cool. New faces, great. And they all have alternate faces, which is great. Um, yeah, solid Prince Charming. Um, Tiana's the same. I already talked about her before. Prince Naveen is new from The Princess and the Frog. Great. They somehow captured his exact face, like his exact smile. That's so good. He's got the hair. He's got the, uh, I think that's his wedding outfit. Yeah, that's his wedding outfit. I'm pretty sure. Um, or unless that's one of his early outfits. Anyway, that's great. So good. So he looks so good. Um, that's so great. But the last two, everyone's gushing about these figures. It's Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. Finally, we finally have Tangled figures. But here's the catch. You got to pay $400. Oof. Oh, that's so frustrating. That's so lame. Oh. Anyway, we're getting them at all, okay? Let's be let's be grateful, okay? Rapunzel looks perfect. Wow, it's so good. Like they put her arm printing, the dress looks it's so good. It's so good. The new hair piece, I called it when I reviewed that music box set. Great set, by the way. That set introduced a new hair piece. That I called it. They were gonna use it for this figure, and they did. It's that's great. It looks exactly like her. And then Flynn Rider is just perfect all around. He's got the boots, he's got the satchel, he's got the vest, the hair, Han Solo's hair. He's got the goatee. Oh, it's so good. Oh, they did such a phenomenal job with all of these figures, but these two are my favorite, of course. I mean, come on. How can they not be my favorite? But uh, I just wish they didn't come in such a big set. I mean, I understand. They're trying to appeal to the adult collectors, that's fine. But for people like me, you know, it's it's a little frustrating. But I'm guessing they may put these figures in other sets down the line. It is possible. Um, we'll just have to wait and find out. Here's another picture of them in the castle. Let's go back to the pictures online. Um, it's pretty much the same as the old castle, I mean... It's just more detailed, I guess. Like, there's more gold, more like mo more of like a peach color, more blue, and the fireworks are really cool. Um, you got like a. It's hard to see if I. I don't know if I can zoom in here. I can't. But there is like there's Pocahontas references. There's Moana reference. There's Tangled stuff. There's a Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast. Um, there's some portraits of the princesses, which is awesome. That's great. The sword, sword in the stone. That's cool. Um, Little Mermaid gets a reference, so there's lots of references, lots of cool stuff in here. Um, I really like it. I think it's great. Um, in some ways it's better than the original. It's just better. I think the colors are better. The reference, there's more references. It looks more consistent. Um, although I do wish that the knights were here. The knight armor, the knights in the suit of armor that were like on the like columns. I wish those were here, but it's fine. It just wouldn't be cool if they were there. I've heard people complaining because this is, this doesn't have Beauty, or I'm sorry, this doesn't have Belle and the Beast, which is so lame. You have so many Beauty and the Beast references. Where, where are they? Like, this is such a big set. Where, <sighs> that's kind of lame. I mean, Belle and the Beast are some of the most iconic Disney characters of all time. And they couldn't have put them in this set. And even Gaston comes in that Disney villain set coming out. 
where where are they that's just kind of baffling like i don't know that's weird and it is also weird that minnie and mickey aren't here like i get that they're in a lot of sets now but it's just kind of odd but you know what we got tons of new characters and only one repeat that's a win on its own folks that it's but again it just would have been nice to get a cheaper option <laughs> to get them you could brink link them brick link them but even then it's expensive still so there's some pros there's a lot of pros but there are some caveats so yeah i'm not getting this i have no room no i don't have the budget um but i think it's going to be a great building experience for anyone who does get it it's a gorgeous set for sure um very cool is, is it a little bit redundant yeah but it's unique enough i think the figures save it from being bad so yeah um i think the pre the uh the information the leaked info they said there was more figures um yeah i, I just i guess there's not so yeah it's an awesome set for sure a big w <laughs> big win um it's cool i really like it um I don't think it really has any features other than the spinning ballroom thing on the bottom. Uh, just a lot of references and stuff. Lots of room to rock around and stuff. So, yeah. Disney Castle. I think it's great. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it's terrible? Do you wish... I know some people wish that this was a different castle. I guess so. But it's cool that we're getting a new one. So, And what better year to celebrate than the 100th anniversary? How appropriate. Let me know what you think. Um, do you think they should have included B Beast in the in Bell? I think so. I mean, come on, throw them in there. Would have been too easy, but I guess not. I, maybe they have like a limitation on figures. I, I think that's probably what it was. Like they couldn't th throw in too many figures, so they had to keep it at a minimum. I think. But uh, let me know. Do you like the original Disney Castle better, or do you like this one more? And uh, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you for the next analysis. Stay tuned for more. And have a great day.